Hello there, we're going to do a little bit of dicking around in Divinity Original Sin 2. I already beat the game as Fane, and now I'm playing as Losa. And I'm not going to talk all that much, I'm just introducing. So, bye. Regardless, it's important you know why this must be done. We are ah, fuck it, I'm gonna talk. Let's fuck up these guys. My methods will bring you peace. What's this? Guards! Your Honor, you! Who let you out yourself? Come along. You'll be tried when you're called. The Magister flushes with indignation. He lays a hand upon his sword. It's for their own good. It's for the good of us all. If you can't understand that... Let's not be hasty, Magister. This ought to be an education for all of us. Tell me, Sorcerer, what did you hope to gain by interrupting these proceedings? Sister, do not stay here. You must run. Run! Hmm... What do I want to do? <laughs> Opening the door was a mistake. You know. Ah! One might be tempted to say fate lured you here, but the divine is quite dead. There is no more fate but what we conjure. Okay. And yeah. so here you are. Tell me, what's the talk in the camp about our cure, about purging? Let's see. It's, uh... Yeah. A magister is not a sorcerer. Our cure is less bloody and rather more interesting. Yeah, you turn us into soulless husks that do your bidding. Would you like to see a demonstration? It was commonplace in the days of Bracca's Rex, but the technology has lain dormant since then. We have Dallas to thank for her revival of the tool that will save us all. Now, now, Fastpot. Better to know what awaits you than to bash blindly into the future, wouldn't you say? Mm, I'm a fuss pot. Let me show you. Okay. Madam, please do hold still. No! No! Animal! Beast! Slug! Please! No! Well? Ah! Look at her. Soulless Perfection. husk. Yeah. This is quite perfect. I imagine it's quite hard for you to fathom. I don't suppose I'd look forward to this fate myself. But you must understand, if your kind are left well enough alone, the Void Woken will destroy us. All of us. This elf has sacrificed her source. Some might say the spark of life within her. But she has done so in the name of us all. She is a hero. I would have loved for you to have seen our point, my friend. It would have made your transformation all the more rewarding for both of us. But the Divine Order doesn't need you to understand. It only needs you to accept. Now it's your turn to repent, my friend. I'm so glad you joined us here today. Even if you can't admit it to yourself, perhaps now you realize how crucial you are to our salvation. Let's fuck him up. Ooh, I got the good music. I like this tune. Okay, so I got Ethan. What can you do, dude? Try to get a good Let's see. Can't hit you. Nobody's over there. Okay, so I could just go for that. I could do a ricochet. Nice. And then you are out of physical, but I mean one hit will kill, so let's do a fossil strike. Oh, not dead. Okay. I think you're a badass, huh? 
beat me. Look at me, I got a bucket on my head. That's how I feel about you. So you got... Well, well, okay, yeah, I can do that. Eat that dick. Or eat dick that. Shocking. Okay. Action point to do one thing. I'll encourage everybody. Okay, let's get Fane. Uh, you're probably gonna get sh oh, I don't know. Let's see. You good? You good. Cool. Cool beans. Now... I can do that. Cool. Got that person over there. With the ignition. I don't know. I have to clean up my hot bar, I guess. There. Uh... Two. And... Throw the shield! the fire for a second. Thank you. Oh, feel bad doing this, but I don't feel bad doing that because it missed. That's always fun. I only do one thing. Use that. Okay. You can do anything in life. Put your mind to it. Okay, you're frozen and shit. And I don't know, let's make it rain. I'm ready. Why are you getting closer to me? That's not safe. Okay. You're dead. You've know I electrified everybody in the water, but whatevs. It's just, you know, life. Get you. Hey, that should have killed you. Okay, that's good. I don't know, who needs some physical armor? Far. Crippled you. Start walking this way. Cornered. Nice. Dead. Back to Losa. And pick up some shit. What you got? What you got? I don't 
have any elves, so I'm not going to pick up any of the flesh. Because you could eat arms and heads and stuff if you're an elf, and then you get to experience memories of the deceased person. Come on, like, fucking walk. Oh, and it's encumbered. Let's read that. The sin of source is inborn. We are all of us mocked by this strange power, both creative and destructive. It is no wonder some are seduced to manipulate it. Still, there is a stark difference between that which is understand understandable and that which is permissible. The sin of source has no place within our realm. Time and again it has gone rancid within its hosts, been used to torture and kill, called beasts of unspeakable horror into our mists. It cannot continue. Good read. Yep. Uh, what can I throw away here? I got lots of shit on me here. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. Uh, yeah, let's, let's divvy all this up. See, so you need strength. Let's give that to the Red Prince. You need strength, Red Prince. I think all of these can just put them on the floor. Nobody else has strength as the primary attribute. Sort that. What else we got here? We got strength, strength, strength. I'll hold on to those. Hold on to that. It's you. It's you. Um, that could go to Fane. What's Fane wearing right now? Yeah, you could use this. That'd be good for you. Oops. Still got your source collars on, except for me, so no one else could use the necklaces. I think I read all those books. I'll sell them off later. I'll just get rid of the new highlight around things. Sort, sort. Uh, that's good. Anything behind here? Can I move this? No, there's nothing on there. Pick up some more crap. No, nothing there. Pretty much what's that? Nothing back there. Just looks neat. I think I've almost done everything on this island, except the escape part. Well, I've escaped already. I'm just going back and trying to get every item and every bit of XP from everything. Because that's a thing to do. Excessive, I like it. Let's get these out of the way. 
Oh, I'm fain right now. Why am I be why am I feigning? Uh, I think this just makes you fall. Um, what is it? Yeah, L. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, I know where the seekers are. Okay. Yep. Fall down, that's always fun. Unmistakable. How did noxious bulbs end up here? Hmm, let's see what this is about. These plants look no truly sinister. They're arranged in a ring. I swear! Is a natural occurrence. Blooded and sad, a severed head sits on its stick. Its eyes snap open and dart from you to the nearest noxious bulb, and back to you again. Open the chest there! Go on! You know you want to? Open the chest! There's loot in it! Open the chest! <laughs> I like that. Tell him to forget the chest. He could spend his time thinking on important matters, philosophical and existential, now that he's a head on a stick. Thinking? Yes! Eyes thinking! I was thinking you should open the chest. <laughs> um. Three. No, not at all. Good things occur to those who open <laughs> the chest. Very good things. He gives you a look that says, "Really? You went with that?" <laughs> He's a pain in the neck. He rolls his eyes. <laughs> his look turns to one of contempt. I bet. He grits his teeth in anger. His look now carries pure hate. His eyes dart around, from grass to tree, tree to sky, back to grass. He's pretending you aren't there. <laughs> the severed head closes its eyes, pretends it's dead. You grin to yourself and turn away. Nice. I'm good at this. So, what do these bodies have? Anything? Mm -hmm. A severed head sits rotting on a stick. The last vestige of an ear juts from above its too prominent jawline. A fly buzzes about its nose. Its eyes open. It looks at you. When it speaks, it struggles to move its impaled jaw. I don't know who you are, but hear this. Don't open the chest. Don't open the chest. Whatever <laughs> you do, don't open the chest. Hmm. Terrible cool. things. Don't open the chest, strange lady. Everything will go. Boom. Don't open the chest. Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> you won't regret it. Or to put it another way, you'll not live to regret it. Ha oh, ha ha. Very funny. I tell you what, I changed my mind. I mind. I had a change of heart. <laughs> Own the chest. You deserve it. Don't listen to him, he's crazy. He wants to die, he does. I'd help you if I could. But he'll kill us all. Don't open the chest. Same old story. Usual story. Hey, do you stink of being a good and rough worker? I was a professional. <laughs> Lost my head for it. Oh, as it turns out. Lost my audience. Oi, Oddie! Arrest me! 
It must be really hard as a voice actor to talk without lips. Yeah. <laughs> we got a soldiers. We built houses. <laughs> we constructed labyrinths. <laughs> Ruckus Rex himself said the one of the gargoyles was the last of his ever. Right, the floor we cut off our heads. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. The last of hey, Zelda doesn't give away the king's secrets. I this, I see it. I this. <laughs> I'll say nothing. Is what I mean. Drink. I knew. Sarah and my cousins survived the family Randolph. Randolph. Asuka. Slaughter. So he's not all evil. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have a code. We are after these orders. We construct the finest labyrinths. We do not give away our secrets. Do your worst. The head closes its eyes. The conversation is over. Okay, what about you? Naughty, lady ho ho at again. No, oh, I already right. talked to you. That's right. We all look the same to you, do we? One head's as good as another, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's just lovely. Hope you're ashamed of yourself. Yeah. Now don't make things worse. Don't open the chest. If you open the chest, bad things will happen. Not nice things. Bad things. Feed them on plants. The flora all around us, I mean to say. It'll go off. The head's eyes widen in. You wouldn't kill perfectly innocent heads like us just to see what's in a chest, would you? There's no honor anymore. None at all. The head closes its eyes. Hey, lost funny whoop. It's a great chest. Away from Open the it. Chest. Open the chest, please. Hmm. They lost. Back away from the chest. So, what do you suppose I do here? They lost. Just these arrows. It's resistant to everything. Fire, water, air, earth, poison. Huh. What about bleeding? They lost! Open your chest! Open it! Well, the bleeding just seems to go away. Okay. Thing over here? What's happening? Okay. Uh, I want this chest. Um. Let's go over here. And. Oh, they, they really put some work into making sure I couldn't cheese this, didn't they? Oh, didn't mean to do that. I want to examine. I can't examine it. Okay. That helped. Who has pyrokinetic 
anything. Red Prince? No. You have one. You can't. Okay. Well, that's until later then. I'm not going to deal with those pigs just yet. I smell burning. Are those pigs on fire? I'll explain that later. inside. Okay, living life. Doing what comes natural. Cool beans. Only the best. On you. Okay, you're shocked. And you're shocked. That should give me a turn sooner. Crippled. Courage. Freeze those two assholes. And then... Wash all that away. Get rid of your resistance. Let's see what that does. That be good. Let's put you in the fire. Nice. <laughs> that works. Um, not enough action points, huh? Let's go here. Holy hell is that? Yeah. That's bed roll, get rested stat. Didn't mean to pick that up. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Yeah, there's traps all over there. Let's see how many get picked up. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Good job. Yeah, and there's... Up 
on the ledge before you. Stand back and keep your hands off your weapons. Convin Her eyes go. No magister could sense the spirit of the goddess. Only a true sorcerer could, blessed with senses greater than our world's. I apologize for the steel-tipped welcome, but lives are at stake. Hold on, I'll let you up. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. Yeah. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. All Armadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? I have not, but I do know that the stars that shine brightest often fade the quickest. Whatever pain burns in your chest, you will always have a home here. I am Gratiana, priestess of Armadia. It is a privilege to welcome you to her sanctuary from Bracchus's vile swamps. Armadia is the blessed mother of magic. All that use it can trace their skill back to her grace. This is her shrine. She has sustained me here for many years, even when the evils of Brachus's swamp threatened to drown me. He is no more, thank the goddess. It has been many centuries since he walked Rivalon, <laughs> although he still casts a shadow over this land. He ruled this realm as a tyrant and beast. He stole its source and left only death. On this island he built and tested his weapons. These marshes were a playground for he and his necromancers. Many unfortunate souls were brought here. Blessed were those who died quickly or died at all. Bracchus left many restless souls here. He twisted this land into what you see today. Indeed, the Magisters have even taken Bracchus's worst tools. First, the Purging Ones, and now those Shriekers. Without something more powerful than these sticks the Seekers are armed with, those crucified monstrosities will kill them to a man. Their leader, Gareth, also demanded that I must do something. I argued against it, but he was very insistent. I told him of Bracchus's cache of soul-forged weapons, arms not even the Shriekers could stand against. He ventured out to find them, but has not returned. I fear for these souls, if he has come to any harm in the marsh. Without the wands he seeks, not one will escape this island. He set off north, to the ruins of Bracchus's source armory, but there is no way to know what he found there. Even if he survived the swamps. Walk ever in Armadia's grace, child. Okay. We aren't really safe here, are we? <coughs> so long as Garen should turn... Matis, the wound is festering. It needs to be changed. The friend is still so alive. That's good. You're certain it was Verdus? He said it nine. Here. 
Eh, probably the easiest way to do it is to go back. I don't feel like dealing with these bulbs. Let's... Way over here. And... Let's have a little walk. We aren't really safe here, are we? That will not be a problem. Wait, so long as Gareth returns. Beans. There, climb. There's um, here. Let's go over here. Puts us here. No, I shouldn't have done that. It's, oh, but if I go over here, yeah, I get, I get this fucker. Can I go around? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you idiots. Start climbing. You too. Come on, idiot. <clears throat> I'll deal with you after this. Guys, I know it's cold. One way, don't I? This was probably the least annoying. Who's there? A young man tenderly fingers two fresh gashes across his eyes and face. His fingertips hesitate over his closed eyelids. He's being blinded. At your approach, he spins to face you and readies his shield. Stop! Stop! Who, who goes there? Singer? I don't. I don't know any singer. Tell me the truth. Who are you? I don't believe that for a second. He sidles blindly beside the cart, groping his way toward you. I, I, I can't let you go. It's my job. It's why I'm here. Don't you understand? He continues to grope toward you, his sword clenched tightly in his hand. He opens his eyes a fraction of an inch and winces, stumbling over a rock stuck in the mud. No, no, don't try anything. Do you hear? He clings tightly to your forearm, getting his bearings on the marshy ground. How... how bad is it? He pulls himself away from... Look! Look! I have a job here. I need to guard this cart and... And more than that, I need to protect people. 
You and the people out there. I, I can't let you leave. He pulls a pair of shackles out of his bag and holds them out, open toward you. Why not? Wait. Do you hear that? Oh, God. Oh, God, they're back. Uh. Stay still. Okay, that worked. And I can do that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Knock you down, kill you. And use for extra damage.
not sure what's more insulting, that Dallas's new advisor issued the command instead of the hammer herself, or that I'm suddenly to perform a menial scavenger hunt. I signed up to protect and serve, not to wander the island searching for those artifacts of the tyrant. Dallas's friend warned me that wearing any of these artifacts without the others also equipped would see me inflicted with a great curse, but I think he just wants to ensure that I don't keep one of them for myself. Fat chance at that. I'm not reading all this. I'll wear that though, that's nice. Are those better than six seven six seven six seven? Oh, I'll use that. You ten thirteen. No. Trying to save your friend here. You're a yeah, fuck it. Just wait here. That's not where I am. Right? Uh, no, we're just having... what, what are you over there for? I'm confused. Whatever. Okay. Everything. That's fine. I'll yield to none. You should be dead. Ah, oh, darn.
won't budge. I'm in there anyway. You one of those Bracus soldiers too? Should have been more careful who you went to battle for, bub. Yeah, bub. Give that to you. Also give that to you. And is that better than what you have now? Yes, it is. So I think that's the most powerful one I have. Down here. In the flickering torchlight, you see a magister lying muttering. No, stay back. Not another step closer if you want to live. Fight. I'm not afraid of you. <coughs> you should be afraid of me. The magister nods towards his hand, and you see the skin is midnight black. He grimaces and tucks it underneath his arm, squeezing it tight. He nods towards the bodies of the dead Magisters, twisted in the thorned blood. Same as those poor souls. We finished clearing out this blasted room and wanted... <coughs> wanted to move on to the next. As soon as they touched that switch, they... They were screaming. Some void curse. Dallas warned us to take care, but I... We never thought... Never knew we'd... Survive. I'm as dead as them, just taking my time getting there. They were gathered round it, took the brunt of it. Got me on the arm, though, clipped me. He looks up at you. I saw how they died. I heard them screaming. I, I don't want to go like that. I don't want to face... He lowers his eyes. <laughs> Level up. So that's a cursed switch, huh? Do I have any? I don't. Can't bless anything. level up. See, I want some polymorph. That. Some more persuasion. And I want more carry weight. So, how much is that going to be? Okay, so it's like 10 each or something. Where'd everybody... What are you walking for? That's weird. I don't think I clicked over there. Give you lore master. Too attached to certain things. Know how it goes. It's 
So I gotta get blessed before I do that stuff here. And then I'll clear all that out. There's Gareth. Let's help him out and then I'm gonna call it a day on this video. Weird, but whatever. Okay. So why did you move? Eh, whatever. Fuck it. Gareth. Okay, by the divines, I strike you down. Everybody gets fucked. Works for me, man. Target's out of sight. Okay, so that won't even work. Ooh, that's because I'm in smoke, isn't it? Okay. Uh, or am I blind? No, he's not. Okay. Things, you know how it goes. And that's how you do it. His eyes travel from your face to your feet, then back again. You're no Magister, judging from that collar around your neck. How'd you come to be here? Name's Gareth. I'm a seeker. I can give you shelter and hope. Ah, good. Then you know us. And you know we can help you. And perhaps you can help us. Your words warm my heart, sorcerer. His eyes scan the horizon and then settle on yours. A moment passes. I can't stay. You shouldn't either. What did Lucian say? Ah, yes. Evil feasts on the indolent. Get yourself to safety, and soon. You'll always have a place at the Seeker's table. That's nice of you. Like the hat. Go over to me, here, 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 
more in finesse? No. Okay, you. Wear that, please. Don't need a bucket anymore. Fuck the bucket. That's what they always say. What am I trying to do here? What is that? Oh, you're, you're, you have them. That's what, it's the whole thing. Here. Okay, you don't have anything. There's nothing. Ain't nothing. Yeah, I think everybody's, everybody's Gucci. Some path finding problems there. Looking good. Cool beans. Here, have that. That's a that's a good one. Oh, have that too. Now you're fucking set, bruh. gonna be it for this. Where will our adventures take us next? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna talk to this guy and go back here. There's a cave over there. We got places to go, people to see. It's gonna be fun. See you next time.